Recently, my dad and I traveled to Bonneville Salt Flats in Wendover, Utah to send, attend Speed Weeks. We also stopped in Reno, Nevada along the way to where dad did a little gambling and we attended the Reno Swap Meet during hot August nights. I saw this 1932 Ford Roadster equipped with a rim off over twin overhead can conversion in this 1932 Ford and just had to have it. Now, I didn't have my tow tra trailer with me or my truck to tow this thing home. So we bought the car from Toby Housley here, who agreed to tow it back to his place in Northern California, and Dad and I would pick it up at a later date. So we traveled on to Speed Weeks in Wendover, Utah, which is at the state line with Wendover, Nevada, where we attended the Nugget Car Show in Wendover, Nevada, which is one of the very best car shows in the world, in my opinion, because these cars come in freshly off the salt from Bonneville Speed Weeks and typically have salt all over them. And you can't recreate that anywhere in the world. And these cars are traditional old Bonneville speed cars. Dad and I met up with some friends at the Nugget Car Show and just had an absolutely great time. So on our way home from Bonneville Speed Weeks, we decided to stop off at the youngest daughter's house and see the grandkids and go to, down to the river, the Deschutes River, and do a little fishing with the grandkids. So they told us all about it and all about the uh, crawdad catching and the various things they do down at the river and we just had a great time with them. So we finished our travels and traveled back home where we picked up the old Cadillac Escalade. Now she's got 200,000 miles on it but with that 6.2 liter engine she's a towing beast. Now we had to travel back to Northern California where we would meet Toby Housley. Now Toby lived up at Brownsville uh, near the airport on the top of this mountain. This was a narrow, very narrow road with rumble strips in the center of this narrow road the whole way up when we were pulling the trailer. Uh, it seemed like it was 25 miles. I don't think it was that far, but from Moorville, California to Brownsville, it's quite a trek pulling the trailer up this narrow, rough road. Now on top of this mountain, there was virtually no cell phone reception. So we had made, agreed with Toby early in the morning that we would meet at this intersection at the top of the hill near his home. So we were very happy to see Toby at the intersection when we got there. So we talked with Toby for a few minutes and he jumped in his 1950 Buick Sedanette Fastback. We agreed to follow him up the road to where the 1932 Ford was stored at, at his friend's house who had passed away and Toby was helping we'll sell the car. Now this was near the Brownsville Airport, up on top of this mountain, where most of these homes had a airplane hangar at their house, uh, which they could use this airport to taxi. They could taxi out to this airport and fly off to wherever they wanted to go. Now, I understand if you need to park a plane up here, it's about $10 a month. Very reasonable. This 1950, Buick Fastback sedan at the Toby has is pretty special. It's got a Corvette fuel injected engine, automatic transmission, and air conditioning out of the Corvette. And all the suspension, front and rear, with four wheel disc brakes, are all out of that 1994 Corvette LT1. 32 Roadster we come to purchase was located in this hangar at the gentleman's house. He also had this little Bantam coupe that was inside the hangar, along with the 32 Ford, a 29 Roadster, a 32 Ford pickup, and various other cars, and lots of other parts and pieces. Well, we loaded up the 1932 Ford Roadster behind the Cadillac on the old car trailer, and was ready to head out. Now, Toby uh, fired up the old 50 Buick and said, hey, let's, uh, why don't you follow me over to my house and take a look at some of the cars that I have. I got a couple of cars for sale and some projects that you might interest, be interested in. Well, that 1950 Buick has a great big grill in it that only the creator could love. Actually, I've grown to really like those cars and uh, really like this car of Toby's here. And she really sounds good.
So he followed Toby down the hill a little ways to his place wow. where he had this 1938 Cadillac LaSalle, excuse me, with a flathead V8 and this little 1929 Ford Roadster pickup. Here, here's the, now, this the is the gate, the gate going into Toby's place. It was rather interesting. A door right off in. an old truck. <laughs> it's old Plymouth door. Come here, Rose. Come here, Rose. Maybe. That door keeps you in, doesn't it, Rose? Huh? Cadillac here, huh? Yeah, Cadillac huh. Michelle, what they, they were called, weren't they? Yep. 12, they, they got 12 cylinders in this? This is a V8 flathead. Oh, the V8 flathead, huh? Yeah. Oh, really? That's like what was in my uh, 37 pickup, so the exhaust manifolds are up on top. Yep. Yep. I'll be there. They use those in uh, Sherman tanks. Yep. No with, a, with, a, with a hydro behind them. Oh, is that right? Yep. Uh, yep. They got a lot of torque. Side covers come on. Yeah. If you want. Wow. Look at that old Goodyear. That's got to be the earliest white letter Goodyear tire I've You got to be seen. careful rolling it because the rubber comes off. Yeah. The side walls. <laughs> that does. <laughs> you know what? I've got a 55 Lincoln too, you know, like hard top, you know? Yeah. And the, the rubber's about, looks like about like that. This was your mom's car? Yeah. And you drove it in here? I drove it in our my mom and dad's shop. Oh, okay. And it sat in there till last winter, and I had it in the shop here, and then I put it out in the summertime because I was using the shop. Man, I really oh. like this car. Uh, manual or automatic? Three, three on the tree. Perfect. Shut that door. Yeah. Nothing. Wow. Just like those original paint. No kidding. What happened to the headlight over here, Toby? That's they hit a mailbox. Oh, no kidding. Broke, hard enough, it broke the front bumper. I'll be darn. Can you imagine that shit? Yeah. Should have whiplash anyway. Yeah. Now, what year was this? 1938. 38. But I have another headlight ring and lens and stuff for it. Oh. I don't have these three bars, and I don't have the other piece of the bumper. Huh. I was going to take the bumper off. Take these off, put a couple of Nerf bars out there and call it good. It's got those opera seats in the back to pull down. Yeah. I'll be darned. <laughs> they called it a five passenger coupe. Really? That's what you call an original California black plate car. Yeah. No, well, check this shit out. <laughs> Come on, there's the front one. Wow. Whoo! <laughs> How'd you get that? I mean, uh, they never put it on. We never. Oh, put it never on. put this in. Oh, yeah. oh, I'll be darned. Man. Yep. Huh. It's a lot like, if you look at the body style really close, the main part of the yeah. car, 38 Chevy. Yeah, that's what it, yeah. But it's got different fenders, taillights, lights, yeah. front fenders, hood. Uh-huh. Bumpers, all these here, stuff there, everything. Yeah. Yeah. Take this tire off because it blew out and I had to put the spare on. <laughs> yeah. It was still fastened in. I had to take this loose to get it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> went on that side right there. Look at the old inner tube. That's a, Yeah. They went with the inner tubes. There's in. a bumper guard, or brackets. Oh, yeah. Front bumper. I do have that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she's a pretty cheery old ride. It is. You know, you're right. They're just like a 37 8 Chevrolet Coupe. The, the frame could be a little longer. This this part could be a little longer too. It mm -hmm. seems a little long for. A, yeah, and the front seemed long to me at first, yeah. but the, I don't know. Look at that bumper, LS. I like cell. that. Boy, you don't see Glass. that light lenses. Yeah. Glass. Glass. Wow. I have the uh, piece that goes here for license, license plate. plate. Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah. It's just as nice underneath as it is right here. Is that right? Huh. Wow. Well, you don't get much rain up here, do you? There's more snow and stuff, don't you? Kind of for dampness? I only get snow 
once or twice a year. Oh, no huh. kidding. And that right around Christmas time, yeah. you might get two inches, you might get two feet. Oh, yeah. darn. Oh. But it's gone in a few days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we put Marvel Mistral in all the songs and all the engines too about every two years. Oh, that's good, yeah. Yeah, I think that. Clutch work. Yeah. I bet you that's an air assist shift. Or vacuum assist, I should say. Man, that is a beauty. Well, I don't know. We can look the hood and see, maybe, huh? Yeah, I think you can see lines up to them. Look at the length of that hood. It's unbelievable. Can you see down in there? Oh, the side covers come off. I don't see any more Yeah. No, I don't see any vacuum assist. I don't remember it, man. Yeah. Do you think the old motor's free? I know it is. Oh, it is. Huh. Yeah. We every two years we put Marvel Mist oil in it and roll it through. Okay. And I did it about six months ago. Oh. Uh, that's good. I think that's really good. To... I got real good at doing valve springs in the in this Cadillac because I or pulling the heads and stuff. I was trying to figure out what was wrong with mine, and uh, um, finally figured out that it was the valve springs were weak and took care of that. Nice. Aggie's machine out of California has got all that. Yep. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty neat old car. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. And it's complete. Yeah. 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 There we go. Yeah. They, you know, they used to race these, and the Cadillacs would always win by a nose. Yeah. Well, that's why. <laughs> yeah. The old Ben Hubbard had one when he was in high school there, like that there. It was a sedan type, you know, like that long one, you know. Man, there'd be six, seven, eight, nine, ten people pile in that. Uh, I'll and be there. Around. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for showing me that one. Yep. Fifty-four years Toby's owned this. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. Look at that. Man, you got the tint right. You got the right. You know, not too dark, not too light. You got. You nailed it. It's got gray glass. Yeah, it looks mm -hmm. good. Look at that. Yeah, that is a beauty. Wow. Drank a lot of beer in this car, chased a lot of women, <laughs> got in a lot of trouble. I'll bet you did. <laughs> Here's the best part of the whole thing. It's a 39 Chevy. Yeah. But it's got a oh. 351 <laughs> Ford in it. That's revenge for all them good Fords those guys screwed up by putting Chevys in it. <laughs> How often do you drive this, Toby? Oh! I try to drive them all once or twice a month. Yeah, yeah them uh, diehard Chevy boys won't know to think about that Ford motor in there. That's all right. I bet a few of them shake their head. My buddy with his 55 Chevy and I, we took this and went to the Lone Star Roundup in Texas. Drove and Mel went with me. Mel did? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, nice. we were gone for three weeks. Wow. Good times. Never had any trouble. You Good. got AC in there? Yeah. Nice. Got vintage heat in there. Beauty. Power rack and pinion, Mustang 2, hmm. Camaro rear end. Wow. Dude, the, or, uh, car show in Springfield, Missouri. In your 32. Yep. Drove over all the way there. <laughs> yep. Now, you got a flathead in that, don't you, Toby? Yes, I do. Yeah? What training behind it? Uh, top loader Ford 4 speed with a gear vendor overdrive. <laughs> wow. Now, that's a long drive. You can hear a rough sitting up here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, flathead. Wow, beautiful cars. Yes, beautiful. it is. It's actually brown. Really? It looks black. Uh, the wires, my starter button quit. Yeah. So I was trying to figure out what the hell was going on. But, uh, Got three one barrels on there? Three deuces. Three deuces. 397s. Wow. Yeah. It's a uh, wire wheels. Born stroke, three eight stroker, 286 cubic inch. Wow. 
Looks like you got some new goodies here for it. Yeah. Gotta use my remote. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that really sounds nice. Yeah, sir, really, really does. Huh. What do you got? Some cylinder heads there for it, or <laughs> not another project? Well, I haven't decided whether I'm going to put those on here, but from, those are for pop-up pistons. Oh. And I'm not 100% sure what's in here yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. These are Canadian Ford. They called them cheater heads back in the day because they were unmarked. But they were aluminum. Oh. Boy, you got a nice lift here, too. Or yeah, thank you. Ah, uh, those are aluminum uh, Canadian che cheater heads. Uh, yeah. I'll be darned. You right. can paint them the same color as the motor. Right, nobody would know. They just think they're stock. Yeah. Ah. Uh, uh, cool. Toby's wife's putting a headliner in her Volkswagen. Nice. 73? Nice. Did you paint it? Yeah. Cool. I do all my own work. I can't blame anybody else. That's right. I love dogs. Oh, yeah. Huh. <laughs> Hasn't been started in about six months. There's a hood to your pickup. That's that's a nice one. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. What's this one got in it? Three or two. Yeah, exactly. 50 what? Two. Two. 62. 52. Oh. Come on. This one don't have an electric pump like your others. Yeah, it does. Oh, it does. Oh, yeah. Mercury Man? Who did? Yeah. Oh, Jim Bradley did that. that the old boy you know? Yeah. I'll be darn. Jim Bradley, huh? Yep. Huh. He did a nice job on that. Yeah, she sounds good. Yeah, yeah, he's good friends. Jim's good friends with uh, Don King up in uh, uh, Longview, Washington. Hmm. Hmm. He's a pen striper too. What do you say, buddy? Hi, Rosie. Toby's got an. Oh, here we go. Got all kinds of surprises around here. You get her? Yeah, it's hooked up. There we go. I forgot all about this when you told me about it. Yes. Yeah, that is beauty. The motor's in the train's in the back. <laughs> wow. It's not rusted out. No, that's a solid car. The only dents 
and the fenders is because when they stole it, they put it on a car dolly. And when they wrecked the truck that was pulling the car dolly, it broke loose and hit. They stole it? Yeah. From up here? Yeah. Uh, that Over at uh, Linda's, yeah. No kidding. See, as you can see, that's one of the spares for the that car over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they, sure They is. had new tires on the front, and they stole them. Ah. Uh, and they stole the doors. No kid, but they, where'd the guys find it? They find the guys that did it? Well, we we think we know who did it, but yeah, cops won't prove anything. I just bought these doors, found them and bought them, put them on there. Uh, at the swap meet there? Or? No. No, yeah. You know, it's the iron, the metal's good on it. Yeah, that is. Uh, Don't look like that truck's ever been beat up. You know, even the tailgate's straight. Yeah, it's, that truck's it's been... It's not even bowed. <laughs> that one's had a good life. Some, you know, a lot of them are just beat to heck. Yeah, yeah. You selling that one, Toby? Yeah. I couldn't remember. Huh. Another California black paint. Wait. Man. 1980 last time huh the motor and stuff i don't know anything about it uh-huh uh, yeah it. Mm -hmm. motor. Motor it was in that hangar oh it was so the motor was or the whole car everything. Yeah. yeah and since i got it yeah so it may be okay you know yeah Damn cedar trees. <laughs> that's a 19 bolt in it. It looks like there. No, that's a that's a four cylinder one. There. Oh, four cylinder. Yeah. 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 But even down here in the floor pan, you know, it out. Yeah. yeah. Boy, that's something yeah. up. No, nah, that's. Nah. Hmm. Even the battery deal ain't even rusted out and stuff down here. No. <laughs> a lot of them get rusted. I have an idea. I'd, I'd be starting that motor up and see what's going on because... Put it on the stand and just fire it up. I don't see where it would be bad. Oh, no. Well, they ruined that, didn't they? Yeah. But I know where there's parts. Huh. <laughs> Damn, I got that cedar shit all under me. <laughs> Hmm. Right here, flywheel and all that shit. Man, that is, I don't really like this truck. So this car had been parked up at the hangar and uh, apparently a visitor to the home up there um, came back and later stole the uh, truck later that same night or the next night and <clears throat> it was being towed with a ford pickup with a tow dolly and they wrecked the truck um and this truck was behind it uh the police had found it with the truck and whatnot but uh, nobody was ever convicted although they they know who who um, stole it and whatnot, but uh, I guess they uh, felt that they couldn't prove it or not, but everybody knows who stole the truck. Yeah. Just an unfair situation because it's a great old truck. Well, <clears throat> we hope to go back someday and visit Toby and maybe buy this uh, little Ford pickup um, or possibly this 1929 Ford Roadster. You can see behind this uh, 32 Ford pickup back there. Little Roadster that's very nice. Um, a friend of mine did go back and buy this little Fiat from Toby. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and made it to the end there. And if you would, please hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And we'll catch you next time at Rush Electric Garage. And we did do a little river rafting on the way home. If you ever get a chance to go river rafting on the Rogue River uh, above Shade Cove, Oregon, where they'll wrench you the raft, haul you up there, and pick you up at the end, I highly recommend it. We had a great time uh, rafting, uh, had the kids with us. Uh, everybody just really enjoyed themselves and had a lot of fun.